Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the greatest harmonica players of all time, Toots, 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 Mr. Toots Thielmans. <laughs> I don't think there was a bad bone in his body. Hij is echt als een heel open en heel gemoedelijk en heel ja charmante persoon, heel normaal. He was just a sweetheart, just an absolute sweetheart. I think that Toots was the kind of person that if things were going tense, if he walked in, it would all dissipate because he brought that energy. That very positive, loving energy. <laughs> no, it was invented in the 1700s by uh, Benjamin Franklin. Did you know that? No, I didn't. I thought he invented the kite. <laughs> well, maybe he did. It was gewoon iemand die zijn ding deed en en vanuit het hart muziek speelde samen met zijn collega's en daar enorm mensen heeft kunnen beroeren constant. He treated everyone with respect and with kindness. I never saw any ego. He was light. Another he was pure. He had a pureness about him. That's rare. Well, I mean, for me as a kid, uh, growing up in South Africa, um, jazz was not foreign to us. Jazz was always there. Toots was a figure that you just couldn't avoid. And because he played such a rare instrument, in his time, he was probably the only one who played harmonica. Stevie Wonder also plays great harmonica, but with Toots, just one note, you know it's him. What is that? Is that a harmonica? You know, because for me, the harmonica, and I think for most people, the harmonica associated with the blues or the rock, but not the way that Toots played it. It just had such beautiful, harmonious sounds to it. He could make it sound so big, so melodious the way he played it, and airy and floaty, and he could adapt it to so many different situations. Ja, je moet weten dat hij eigenlijk als gitarist gekend stond in de vroege jaren van zijn carrière en dat de mondharmonica erbij gekomen is. Hij begon ook te fluiten. Met zo'n herkenbare klank die hij had, kon hij het zo goed uitspelen in de jazz, maar ook in de commerciële muziek. Het is een handelsmerk geworden. The one thing you learn from Toots is just to be sensitive. The sensitivity with how he dealt with melodies. He had such a beautiful way of singing with his instrument. A lot of instrumentalists, they cannot sing what they just played. I think Toots would be a great lesson in that. In one song, Toots can give them so much information because of the way that he phrases, the kind of space that he can give, how he, when he plays, he takes breaths. Musically, I felt like I could go anywhere and he would be right there. And we, it would be like waves. It was like dancing, you know? A waltz comes to mind with Toots. A beautiful waltz. Yeah, it was like that. He had this genuinely sweet, beautiful aura. And when he smiled, it was like, if you couldn't smile back, then something is definitely wrong with you. What was his favorite saying again? Between a tear and a smile, something like that. Smile though your heart is aching, smile even though it's breaking. Tout Stilemans hésite un peu quand on lui demande la mélodie qu'il aimerait entendre à son dernier jour. Je sais pas. De l'harmonica en tout cas. Je voudrais de la peau jouer moi-même. <laughs> There was a lot of love for that man. In every situation that I was in with him, there was a lot of love and a lot of respect. Great respect for the musician. 